Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again from TroTech Laser. I have another laser hack to show you today. This hack will show how to use simple modeling clay as an effective tool to help increase productivity for low volume, oddly shaped products. Let me show you what I mean. Modeling clay is a great tool to have in your laser lab. Here's a link to purchase a low cost, non-hardening type that can indefinitely be used and will not dry out. For this first example, I will show you how clay can be used as a quick method to compensate for an angle on a product. First place the clay under the part and then place a level onto the product. Because the clay is malleable, it allows for quick adjustment to level the product. Once the product is level, select the location that will be engraved and focus on the product. Then use the red dot pointer to target the area on the part to align the graphic and then run the file. The clay, also being slightly sticky, will keep the part in place during the engraving process. Once finished, remove and repeat as needed. Another benefit of clay is to hold round products in place for the engraving process, like this stainless steel pipe. Placing clay on both sides to keep it from moving during the fiber laser engraving process, shown in this example. Another method is to use clay to create a simple mold for a product. Place the product into the clay, then use a level to make sure the product is flat, and then focus onto that product. Use the pointer to target the product, and then process the file. Once finished, remove the product, and a molded location is ready for another product to run, making running low-volume products simple and effective with no need to create a custom fixture. If the clay is often used, I recommend placing it into a small tray so that it can be quickly moved and removed from the laser system when needed for even quicker access. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future laser hacks. We'll see you next time.